Julie Blanner and today I'm sharing our laundry room remodel with you. Now not every remodel needs to be a gut from start to finish. I have so many tips to share to make the most of your space on a budget. We are so fortunate that our laundry room is actually on our second level where our bedrooms are. It is so easy to bring clothes in when they're dirty, take them out when they're clean and put them away instead of having to run them down two levels like we did at our previous home. This space is actually a bedroom that has been converted into a laundry room. It's fairly simple to do that if you have the right pipes on the other side of the wall. Fortunately, this is next to the girls' bathroom, so it works out fabulous. We have lived in our home for six and a half years, and during that time, we have discovered some pain points, things that could make it look and feel better. Now, you know my philosophy, I love to blend design and function. And of course, I take a minimalist approach and integrated that into this remodel as well. One of the things that was really important to me in designing this space was creating a space that felt serene because it also doubles as my workout room. You can see it, it's directly across from our master bedroom and it's the first thing we see when we walk out of it in the morning. So I wanted to feel peaceful. In fact, this is where I work out right before I start the day. So in creating a peaceful space, of course, paint color comes into play. I used Benjamin Moore Soft Chamois. It is so warm and so beautiful I just can't get enough of it. In fact, you may know that we've painted our entire upper level in this color. It is the right white for creamy undertones, not too blue, not too yellow. It's just perfect and it works well in most every space. I paired it with a creamy grayish. This gray is not too cool, has some mushroom tones to it as well, and I'm absolutely loving the way that it plays with the cream walls. Now, another inexpensive feature of this space are our Roman shades. Window treatments are the perfect finishing touch for a space. It makes a room feel complete. I actually have my Roman shades cut at Lowe's because it's really inexpensive. You can order them online for the particular length that you need. And also they're blackout, so if I was watching something really enticing on TV, it will allow that. They're really simple, really clean, white Roman shades are perfect for a laundry room and beyond. We've used them in the girls' bathroom and also in Aniston's room. You hear me talk a lot about blending design and function, and one of the many ways I do that is integrating peg rails. It makes everything really easy and accessible while also displaying it in a utilitarian-like approach. It serves as our decor as well. You'll note that there's not a lot of decor in this space. It, again, it's a tight space. There's not a lot of room for decor. And so a very simple ironing board does the trick. You can, of course, dress it up if you'd like as well. Another design tip that you don't want to miss is integrating wood into your space. Anytime you integrate wood, it immediately adds warmth. I like to do it in threes. You'll notice that I have it here on the floating wood shelf over here in the peg rail, and again in the bevel on the TV. Those three points make the entire space feel warm and cohesive. I had this wood shelf made in natural white oak. It is very substantial, so it feels more important than what was previously in this closet, just standard builder's grade particle board. And it also feels finished, which I really enjoy as well. I had it made in a matte finish with no stain on it, all natural, just to keep this room really soft. Now, just above it, we store our cleaning caddies. Cleaning caddies are really easy to tote from space to space throughout our home and make cleaning a little less daunting. Of course, I have them all in my clear glass bottles, perfectly labeled, and those stow away just below the lip of the caddy so that they're not seen to the eye when displayed on our shelves. 
It's these little design details that make a space feel really serene. Now just below that, you'll see that I had replaced a builder's grade closet rod with a brass rod. The brass rod elevates the space while adding a little warmth. Again, it feels substantial and adds another design element to an otherwise very simple space. It's perfect to hang clothes on to dry. It's also great to hang your clothes there when you're ironing so that they don't get wrinkled all over again. Now, the laundry cards are amazing. I absolutely love them and they might be my favorite design detail in the space. Laundry cards are really easy to tote in and out, not only from around the laundry room, but also in and out down to the girls' rooms to put their clothes away when they're all folded. A laundry cart is at waist height, which makes it really easy to put dirty clothes into the laundry and fold clothes on top of your washer and dryer, which is at a great natural height, and stow away in the carts to go put away. So I really enjoy the laundry carts. Seeing the legs on them is so much cuter than the plastic laundry baskets that we had in here before. Another simple trick to make a room appear larger is to use something that allows you to see below or above it. This wall sink does just that. It is positioned at just the right height for a great workspace to clean stains out of our laundry, but it also is at a great height to allow the eye to go up and leave some blank, empty, open space. Blank space is really great to show that depth. If we had continued the cabinets on here, you wouldn't have had that. So it shows that depth and allows your eye to go above it and below it, making it appear, appear larger. It also opens up the footprint in the space just a little bit. In every space, I tend to invest in at least one piece. Even if I'm going budget on everything else, I like something to really stand out or feel special. And I think this sink does just that. It has a vintage feel without the expense. Unfortunately, the hardware that I purchased along with it and the pipes are not so great. They all leak. They're horrible. They're really made. They're made so cheaply that they just don't function. So we will be replacing both the pipes below and the faucet. So watch for an update on that soon. But for now, it looks really beautiful, and we will get that all straightened out in the coming months. Bringing in brass to your home makes it instantly feel warmer. We not only integrated it here in the faucet pipes and unlike brass hardware, but also in the light fixture. No space is complete without lighting. This timeless fixture blends this slightly more modern space with our more traditional home and really feels unique as well. Having a TV in your laundry room is not only great for passing time while you're folding laundry, but it's also great when it doubles as your workout room. So I can watch my TV while I work out or while I'm holding laundry. Either way, it's a great way to pass the time and catch up on my favorite shows. This TV though is like no other. It's a framed TV and it doubles as art when it's not in use. You can update your art to transition it with the seasons, to transition it over time so that it doesn't feel dated, and also to reflect your mood. I chose this piece that I purchased on Etsy However, there are so many amazing free works of art in the public domain. You can learn more about that in my blog post and in the video that I have right here on YouTube. The oak bevel frames it off perfect and adds that touch of warmth in our space. Just below the TV, I integrated a nightstand or a side table. It's perfect for storing away all of the messy cords and cable box and the box for the frame TV. It's also a great place to store the remotes so I know where to find them next time I need them. And of course, I have my arm weights and resistance bands in there as well. Now, there are a couple of tips and tricks to stowing away cords. My first tip is, is when you're using an extension cord, find one that is flush to the wall. It's that way it doesn't stick out and it's a little less noticeable. My second trick to disguising cords and hiding them is to use hooks going down the back of your piece of furniture for the cord to fit snugly into. That allows you to see past to the wall without seeing the messy cords. We painted this piece of furniture in the same color as we did our cabinetry to make it feel really intentional and used the same unlacquered brass hardware. 
We have not yet decided if we're going to cover this in hardwoods when we do our master bath and master bedroom remodel, or if we want to use tile. Until then, we wanted to just lightly update the space without spending a lot of time and money. So we painted the linoleum. You can paint linoleum and vinyl floors with a few simple tricks that you'll be seeing on an upcoming video. It was a really quick and easy update to the space that's inexpensive. I did it in the same color as the walls because you cannot color match carpet. You can't color match fabric very easily. So this was a no brainer way to get something without adding an additional color to the space. Now, because carpet is not traditional in a laundry room and truly not very practical, I added a rug. The rug not only provides a great foundation for the space and a little extra decorative detail, it also ties all the colors together. It kind of brings in the colors of the carpet and it blends the walls and the cabinetry through the plaid pattern. Wool is typically pretty easy to clean, so should we have any spills, hopefully we'll be okay. Don't forget to click subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.